Here are some of my favorite settings for Evoto when dealing with skin when you want to keep things looking as natural as possible. I know a lot of people use Evoto and they always ask me, hey, if you're going to use a program, what sliders would you consider using? So I thought I'd give it a go and, and do the best that I can with it. What I like about Evoto is that it keeps all the texture prominent, even if you're kind of moving sliders around. So it's hard to really mess up. So I would recommend first by coming over to face refinement under freckles and acne and just pushing this to around 80% or so. And then I an analyze this and say, is this good enough for me or not? And I think this is great. Obviously, it's not perfect. You still have to do some tiny micro adjustments, but let's take a look at the before and after already. And that, that is a huge change. The best part about this uh, program as well is you can sync results. So if you have everything done, you can sync it between images in the set and you're done with the whole retouching process, which is fantastic. There's a bunch of other things to do as well, like you know, reduce face shine in case there is shine. Uh, a dark circles, for example, is a big one. You can see here she has a little bit of that showing through the makeup. So I'll push that even further. This is great if you don't want to, for example, add a lot of foundation to the skin, but you want to lift the dark circles later. This is a good way of doing that. It preserves the texture really nicely. I'd highly recommend it. Aside from dark circles, there's many other things like facial forehead wrinkles, etc. It really sections things off really nicely based on the different parts of the face. Aside from that, we also uh, want to take a look at the full picture here. You can see the body details also have some blemishes to remove. So naturally, there's an area here as well called body refinement. And I'm just going to bring that up to around 50%, which is what I'd recommend. You can see here it does a good job of keeping that texture any further. I think it might be too far and it just removes those blemishes. The thing that now is glaring to me is things like the color of the skin, which I think we're going to even out next. And where you want to go and find that is all the way down here, you're going to see an area called skin tone. Now you want to find that AI bot Unify Body Complexion slider. And what that's going to do for you is if I bring that up to 50% again, you'll see it brings it more in line together and making the whole picture more unified. Aside from that, you can also do things like fixing the hair and flyaways. Uh, and there's a whole other part about that as well within the program. So give it a play. Let's take a look at the before and after and see what we've done here in a couple of minutes. And just like that, I think we have a nice, beautiful result that's natural and I feel can withstand a lot of um, clients' feedback. And I think they'd be really happy with it. Of course, you can take things even further by just healing some of these other blemishes here, applying skin smoothing to take it further and just keeping things natural that way.